Trans and gender diverse persons are one of the most vulnerable groups with regards to HIV worldwide. And that is because our community members are the, one of the most marginalized communities. There has been a lot of discrimination for the trans communities and no involvement in different conferences or activities. The trans persons have been discriminated and pushed away. The hospital, clinic, uh, they are not much aware about the uh, transgender issues. HIV prevalence of 6.2% is among the transgender people in Kathmandu Valley and outside of the Kathmandu Valley, 8.2%. So this prevalence rate is very high among the trans community. Being able to access HIV testing, prevention and services comes with additional barriers for the trans and gender diverse community. When transgender people go to the hospital, the doctor and then the services people are the pleasing and you know the laughing. So there is a healthcare system that discriminates the transgender people and trans drivers people. If we look at the rate at which the trans masculine persons have been uh, pushed away, their voices have been stepped on, there has been silence for the trans masculine persons. Just accessing the healthcare system is a major challenge for trans and gender diverse community members. In our country, medical proof is a requirement uh, to access yes. the citizenship and uh, most of the transgender people do not have the citizenship yes. and it's very difficult to go to the hospital to register the appointment. This is a space that we need to come and raise our voices so that people can hear and know about us and understand that we exist. To be able to meet the global HIV targets, we need to be able to ensure the meaningful inclusion of the trans and gender diverse community in the global AIDS response.